All right, as you can tell, got another bull here. And I'm in a little bit of a pickle playing Mr. Mom and we're cutting it real close to bedtime. But I wanna see if I can get at least the hide off of here um, real quick before I have to go in and uh, perform my civic duties. And if I can, I'd like to get to the lower jaw and get that off as well and get this uh, into a bucket and soaking so it's not stinking up the place over the next day or probably two days. Probably won't get to it tomorrow. I'll probably get to it today, Saturday, Saturday night. I'll probably get to it Monday morning. Um, so we're going to get to cutting on this and go from there. All right, I was able to get the lower jaw off that night. And normally I just throw that right away, but this guy specifically wanted to keep the lower jaw. So get that all cleaned up, which doesn't take much, and then get to working on the skull part of it. And you just want to get as much of that meat and tissue as you feasibly can with a knife. Don't go crazy, but get as much as you can off all of right, it. This is what it looks like at the end here. I just want to give you a close up. Um, this is super white. That is not the bone, that's the skin. And leave that on. You don't need to go through the hassle of trying to cut that off. That's the whole point of the power wash. And then also mentioned in a previous video, this is how you tell it's done when this skin starts to split. But I've got as much of the red meat and everything off that I can get. Turn it over right here. You can still see some red meat, but I got it pretty much down to the bone as far as I can get it. So this is all right. This is good, as good as you need to get it. But just make sure those big globs and big chunks are off of it before you put it into the boil with OxyClean. Uh, but that's where we're headed now. I'm gonna put it in the big pot, boiled with OxyClean. I'm gonna wrap up these antlers and uh, we'll go from there. Nothing special here, just set it in there so it's not gonna move around during the boil. And then as soon as the skin on top starts to split, you'll be able to tell just by looking at it. Get it out and start cleaning. All right, remember the key for spraying is every hole, every orifice there. Get in and out of every nook and cranny you can see that's on the outside, that's inside, on the nose, cavity there, everything, or it will stink. Here, just popping out the earbuds. You can stick a screwdriver in to both sides. Knock those things out. If you need to use tweezers to get a few extra little stubborn pieces of tissue off of it, you can do that as well. But just make sure every hole, every orifice, get all that junk out of there. After that, go for round two. That time, though, it's in the developer boil. 
get it good and white really if you have a good batch all you have to do is bring it to a rolling boil and then you can take it out of there and it'll be good and white you can tell that your batch needs to be replaced if you're having to go longer and longer to get it white and eventually you know if you let it go too long it won't get white at all and that's a problem all right after you let it sit in the sun all day to dry out get good and white make sure there's no little grease spots or you need to go through the second round of developer boil again but mop and go it up real good don't do the antlers just make sure those are good and clean with the power wash if you have any spots like this one on the antlers take a toothbrush and get just a tiny dab of wood stain on there that matches the antler color and you can brush that on there and kind of seamlessly cover up that white spot which is what i had to do and i showed a bunch of people and you can't even tell the difference booyah